Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, circle with the center O and the triangle uh, AOC put together as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this segment uh, AB length uh, is equal to this uh, radius uh, OC length and this angle uh, DAB is uh, 22 degrees whereas this angle uh, COD is being represented by X and now our task is uh, to find the value of this angle uh, X please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step uh, we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job simple so therefore I have extended uh, this uh, line uh, AO all the way to E such that the points uh, E, O, D and A are collinear and in this uh, next step I am going to connect uh, this center O with this point B as you can see in this uh, next step and since uh, this uh, O, B length uh, equals to this uh, radius uh, length uh, OC so both of them are uh, congruent and now we are going to focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABO and we can see that this triangle is an isosceles triangle since uh, this side length uh, is congruent to this side length so therefore we conclude that this uh, angle is going to be congruent to this uh, 22 degrees angle so therefore uh, this angle turns out to be 22 degrees as well so thus our angle uh, DOB turns out to be 22 degrees and now in this uh, next step I am going to connect uh, this point B and uh, E as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's make an observation we can see we got this arc uh, BD and it subtends uh, two angles this angle uh, BOD is at the center and this angle BED at uh, the circumference and now let's recall the central angle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle at the center is uh, twice the angle at the circumference and now we can see this is our angle at the circumference and this is the angle at the center and we know this angle is 22 degrees so therefore uh, this angle at the circumference is going to be half of 22 degrees is going to be 11 degrees so thus our this angle turns out to be 11 degrees and now we are going to focus on this triangle uh, ABE whose this angle is uh, 22 degrees and this interior angle is uh, 11 degrees and now let's recall the exterior angle theorem according to this theorem the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles as you can see in this given diagram and here we can see this angle C is our exterior angle whereas our angles A and B are our to opposite uh, interior angles such that uh, the angle C is going to be equal to the sum of these two interior angles uh, A and B and now we can see this uh, is our uh, exterior angle and that's going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles so therefore uh, this exterior angle is going to be the sum of these angles 22 degrees plus 11 degrees uh, is going to give us uh, 33 degrees so thus our this angle uh, CBE turns out to be 33 degrees and now let's focus on this uh, arc uh, CE and it subtends uh, two angles this angle uh, at the circumference and this uh, another angle uh, at the center and now let's recall the central angle theorem once again the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference we know the angle at the circumference is 33 degrees so therefore this angle at the center is going to be twice of that one is going to be 66 degrees so thus our this angle EOC turns out to be 66 degrees 
And now let's recall the state angle property. According to this property, this whole state angle is going to be 180 degrees. In other words, uh, the sum of these two individual angles, uh, x uh, and this 66 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore we can write our angle x uh, plus uh, 66 uh, degrees is going to be equal to 180 degrees. And now we are going to subtract uh, 66 degrees uh, from both uh, sides to isolate x. And here we can see this 66 degrees and negative 66 degrees is gone. So therefore our angle x uh, value simply turns out to be 114 degrees. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our angle x value turns out to be 114 degrees. In other words, our this angle x is 114 degrees. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.